Make sure to use code BANGLE at sign up on FanDuel for a $20 deposit bonus. And check out my second channel for other games coming up like Red Dead Redemption 2 and Call of Duty Black Ops 4. As well as my third channel with collaborations with some of your favorite YouTubers. Let's get into the video. What is going on guys? Bengal again here today. Coming back at you with another video today. Doing another rebuild. This time of the Green Bay Packers. I guess this is probably kicking off the 25 days of rebuild. So subscribe if you're new. Definitely check out my links in the description. My second and third channel. Well, as my Twitter. And maybe check out some of the other videos on this channel. There's not a lot of gameplay in these rebuilds. If you guys are familiar with the series, you know that. If you want to see gameplay, Giants franchise, and NCAA 14, Ozark State Dynasty on the channel. A lot of fun to record those series. Uh, but yeah, everyone's been saying rebuild the Packers are in a weird spot. And this is going to be fantasy style. So it's out with the old, in with the new. I am not moving Aaron Rodgers. There's no way. If I see him as the most talented QB in NFL history, I can't I can't fathom trading that away. But I can trade you away. And or maybe not trade you away, but I can get rid of you. Mike McCarthy, he's gone. This is the roster. Aaron Jones has recently been phenomenal. Shocker that once he gets more touches, he's actually able to contribute at a very high level. Again, shocker. Everyone's shocked. Mike McCarthy is bothersome. The offensive line leads, uh, leaves a lot to be desired with Byron Bell at right guard. But outside of that, we got David Bakhtiari, one of the best tackles in the league. Brian Bulaga, Lane Taylor, Corey Lindsley. Not a terrible group. Not a terrible group. Just I already know Brian Bulaga is going to start regressing because he is 29 years old. It's unfortunate. It's the way it is. But we're going to work with it. Jimmy Graham, I'm probably trying to trade. 31 years old. He will be on the move. Of course, this is the fantasy style, which means we trade players who are older for value, uh, and we try to get better through the draft and free agency and th trades, really. MVS, only 73 overall. It kind of sucks, but we got e Equinemius St. Brown, EQ. Devontae Adams is a beast. Randall Cobb, probably going to be traded. Yeah, he's 28. Uh, I don't know. He's going to start regressing. Maybe I'll let you guys watch the slow demise because I know you're going to complain if I trade him. Nick Perry got to go. He's got to go. Blake Martinez is fine. Jake Ryan is fine. Clay Matthews, I love you, bud. You got to go. You got to. 32 years old. The regression's going to hit him hard. Really. Kentrell Bryce can't start. Absolutely not. Tremont Williams can't start. I want the quarterback group to be Jair Alexander, Kevin King, Josh Jackson. Bashad Breeland gives me nothing. Mike Daniels is kind of a weird one. He is 29. I think I'm probably going to hold on to him. He's going to be like an 83 overall by the time we're competitive, which is going to suck, but kind of is what it is. Muhammad Wilkerson, I'm going to want to trade. He was good for a while in New York, but I'm going to want to trade him. And I know I am because I, I want to. And then, um, yeah, I think that's probably, probably it for the moves. Maybe try to get a safety. The two first-round picks this year is actually going to help quite a bit, but I'm trying to get Landon Collins. Muhammad Wilkerson, Nick Perry, and a fifth. A fourth actually might get this done. Giants were trying to trade Landon Collins. Um, apparently. Oh, uh, wow, no. It's going to have to be a third, probably, which I don't really want to part with, unfortunately. I know it doesn't seem like a huge difference. I would do a 2020 third round pick. And that trade is accepted. Landon Collins, welcome to Green Bay. The Packers traded Haha -ha Clinton Dix, which kind of sucks for me because I don't have him on the team. Even though he is kind of weird. Uh, like, he's, he's not a tremendously high overall, and he's not super young. He's just kind of in that middling area. He's up to an 87 at 25. Really? I thought he was like an 81. I guess he was having a decent season. EA has buffed him up a lot. Either way, he's a player that I would probably like to have. Wow, that would I didn't expect that to be accepted. Might have worked it a little bit. Jimmy Graham who's older at this point. Clay Matthews and Tremont Williams for Telvin Smith, one of the best linebackers in the league. Super underrated player for the Jaguars who, I mean, have struggled mightily on defense this year. But Telvin Smith is a fantastic addition to this team. Could also help us transition into a 4-3. I don't really want him flying off the edge, you know. But really good player. Really, really talented guy. He'll start at right outside linebacker for the time being. And I guess I'm pretty much done with our trades. What is this? Dean Lowry. He'll play left end for right now. I might want to try to move just a little bit more. 
Mercedes Lewis and Bashad Breeland gets me a first round pick for the Bills. Don't ask me how it happens. I know it's it's not a realistic trade, but this is not a realistic rebuild. Um, those are on the channel if you want to see those, but I'm trying to do anything I can. I got three picks now. Call me John Gruden. Of course, the three picks in the first round. I do want to mention that. And um, team, it's not terrible. We have the pieces in place. That face scan for Blake Martinez is really, really good. And uh, now with Telvin Smith, Kyler Fackrell, who's come on as of late, he's been great. We have a good trio of corners. Josh Jones, I'm, or not Josh Jones, Justin Jones. Josh, no, it is Josh Jones. I'm getting wild with all these Jays on this team. Josh Jackson, Jerry Alexander, Josh Jones. A lot of Joshes. Um, Jake. Got a lot of different names here. Regardless, this is the squad for season number one. I don't think I don't think things are gonna go that well, but you never know. Hold, hold on, just gonna make sure my specialists are right. I want I want to develop Josh Jackson, so we're gonna play him in the slot. And I guess those are gonna be our rush players. Sub linebacker Telvin Smith that works well. Aaron Jones getting the majority of the touches. All right, now we're golden midseason mark. Here we come. We're gonna be f one win apart from our losses, so like four and three depending on when the bye week is. Something like that. Four and five. Four and three, yep. Shocker. Who could have seen that coming? It's just the way it goes. Rams are 8-0. Almost like real life. I think they, I think they were 8-0. Um, but of course, they lost to the Saints. I think that was their first loss in the season. And we have upgraded our players. Jair Alexander had a ton of points. He's up to an 89 overall now. I like to see that. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of scouting. Of course, we're going to auto-generate because this is the fantasy style. Real prospects in the realistic rebuild. Uh, but fantasy here. What do we need? LSU with a top QB? Yeah, okay. For sure. Uh, right guard? For sure. Couple of good ones. Playoff time. We actually have a pretty good shot to make the playoffs with our current record. If we finish with around six losses, 10 and six, something like that, I think we probably have a good chance to sneak in, maybe even win the division. And we do not. We lose to the Lions last week, and we finished eight and eight. The Bears went 12 and four. That led the division for the most wins, clearly. Aaron Rodgers had a fantastic season, as he does. Still wasn't good enough to uh, have us do anything. Playoff wise, Devonte Adams six season, Randall Cobb six season, Geronimo Allison six season. All it is about playbooks, dude. I swear any player could do anything in any playbook. I'm rocking, of course, Green Bay. Blake Martinez led our team in tackles, also tackles for loss. Three guys had 12. Kenny Clark was in there. Uh, he also led our team in sacks with eight and a half. Eight for Kyler Fackerel. Seven and a half for Selvin Smith. Who I need to move to middle linebacker. Jair Alexander had five picks, which led the team. The next most had two. And then uh, only a few forced fumbles here. Two for Josh Jones, two for Landon Collins, and two for Jake Ryan. More than I thought. More than we usually get. We need to focus on defense. Tom Brady wins MVP. Aaron Rodgers at number seven. NFC Offense Player of the Year is Todd Gurley. Aaron Rodgers at number two. No other Packers. Defensive Player of the Year is Khalil Mack. No other Packers. Offensive Rookie of the Year, Saquon Barkley. No Packers. Defensive Rookie of the Year is G.E.R. Alexander. Josh Jackson, number six. That is awesome to see. Houston Texans defeat the Chicago Bears 17-13 in Super Bowl 53. It was in the top left. And yeah, my face cam covers that. But we will re-sign some players. Landon Collins being one of them. Randall Cobb. You've seen him regress now to an 84 I'm not going to re-sign him. I will probably re-sign Jake Ryan, though. You know what? He just, he just wants so much money. He wants so much money. I can't pay Randall Cobb close to $8 million per year to be an 84 overall. I know it says 85, but with confidence to regress. I don't, I'm going to watch him die. I wouldn't... You know, I'm going to franchise tag him. I'm going to have him decline because I'm not offering him that much money. We're going to franchise tag him, and we're going to have him for a year. There's almost no way he accepts this, and this is even still too much money. So offer him a two-year deal. He's not liking anything about the offer. He's getting franchise tag. It's going to cost 14 mil 
Just for this year, that's fine. We keep him. There we go. And Geronimo Allison's, unfortunately for him, going to walk. And it's time for free agency. Le'Veon Bell is going to be here. The Rams, Chiefs are going to be offering on him big time. No Le'Veon Bell. Wow. In my opinion, there's nobody worth getting in free agency. So I think we're just going to head to the draft. We pick at number five overall. We went eight and eight. That's not our pick, obviously. Let's see who's available. Leonard Price, 82 overall quarterback at LSU. Okay. This is our guy here. Jerron Isaac out of Tennessee. Deep threat receiver, insane speed, great top three skills, polished route runner, and now he's a member of the Green Bay Packers. 82 overall, ranked number three in the class. Quick development, 95 speed, great route running. His catching could use improvement, great release as well. This is a good player. 82 overall, I mean, obviously, as we move on to number 16, as Sanchez Simpton. An 83 overall strong safety goes to the Cowboys. Jeez, is this draft class loaded or what? All the offensive linemen are terrible. I did say we need to focus on defense, though. So that's what I'm going to do. Let's see, what would I need? We need safety, but the safeties are bad. What did I take first? A wide receiver? We need, we need a linebacker, maybe. This is a pretty bad draft class overall. I can't really see myself taking any of these players. I'm going to have to pause and trade down. Trading a 1 and a 3 next uh, this year, excuse me, for a 1 and a 2 next year from the Raiders. Their first round pick should be incredibly valuable. 1, a 5, and a next year's second rounder gets me a 1 and a 2 from the Giants next year. We're basically banking on the fact that the Giants are going to be terrible. I know my favorite team. It sucks. And um, that pick or both of those picks are going to have more value than our picks because I expect us to be pretty good. I wanted to hold on to the second this year in hopes that we can bring in a difference maker, although it seems unlikely. This draft class was just really, really bad down here near the bottom. Harmon Hall seems like tremendous value for where we are. So we're taking a backup quarterback, Harmon Hall out of Miami. He looks really well-rounded. He's an 80 overall with quick development. I would say absolutely worth the second round pick. Wow, 91 throw power, 86 medium, 86 deep, 90 throw accuracy, great throw under pressure with 80 speed. Harmon Hall, was he wearing number 12? Where is Aaron Rodgers? What do you mean? Going with a tight end here, Mike Randall. I forgot that we needed a tight end. This one is bad. I want to I wanted just let everyone know how bad he is. Terrible player. 72 speed. He's a fullback. Harmon Hall, a little bit of an upgrade over Deshaun Kaiser. He is going to wear number 16. Just give him number 4. That'd be fun. I almost want to give him number 4 just to like see just Packers fans just get mad. Get freaking out. <laughs> I'm going to do it. <laughs> I can just picture them just heating up behind the keyboard. Just, what do you mean, Brett Favre? What is the deal with Jair Alexander? He got so many skill points. He has 9. No one else on the team even has anything close. How are you getting so many points? Pro Bowl appearance, defensive back of the year, defensive rookie of the year. All right. And it costs so little for him to move up because of star development, I guess. It's only 8.5K. Well, he's going to be insane, which I'm for. I'm going to have the CPU upgrade, make him a little bit more well-rounded. And a speed boost. Hell yeah, brother. This is the squad. It's a good-looking team. Aaron Jones leading the way at halfback. Um, the rest is not looking so good with Jamal Williams and, uh, who are you? Joe Williams? I'll be honest. I don't know who you are. But the receiving core does look really nice. I forgot about Isaac, who we drafted. Jerron Isaac. He will absolutely be our slot receiver. Um, over Randall Cobb. That's offensive rookie of the year right there. It really is. And then we'll have him returning kicks also. He already is. Oh, it's going to be beautiful. He's going to be, he's going to be good. He's going to be real good. We got to upgrade this team. We're on the right track, though. Mike Daniels beginning to regress. That kind of sucks. But overall, it's a good team. We really needed a tight end, and I the guards were terrible, so I didn't draft one, which wasn't even an oversight because I wanted to, but the talent was so limited. You know what? He's trying to make a comeback to football in real life. We're going to give him that shot. From the Bears... 
to the Packers. Zach Miller, welcome back to the NFL. You are our best option at tight end right now. Also, Clay Matthews is here. Is there a right guard or a left guard? Anything better than what we have? It's a rookie. 74 overall? I mean, 72 overall here. If they have better than normal development, I would be so down. We're going to sign Russell Verdon. 74 overall. Oh, he's 23. Hold on. I think the right guard was a bit younger, and it costs less to upgrade him. It's 11 4. He's 22. Was it Trayvon Kerr? It's 10,000. He's 21. Let's sign Trayvon Kerr to play right guard. Not ideal, but it, it's not terrible. So this will be the team for season number two. I really like it. 91 offense, 91 defense. Still obviously a lot of areas where we can improve. But for now, things are going to stay where they are. I'm probably going to move this into a 4-3 next year. Jair Alexander's a 98. Good lord. Let's go to the midseason mark, see how we're doing. Midseason mark, we are... 3-4-1. and one. I think that was their real-life record at some point this year, which is funny. Not doing as well as we would like, but we still have a lot of holes. This just leads me to believe that next year is going to be phenomenal. And even this year, there's still a chance. I mean, Jair Alexander, you got to relax, dude. How are you getting so many points? He has, what, 99 man? Maybe we work on zone coverage a little bit, CPU? Maybe we do zone a little bit? Yeah, zone coverage is flying up. They're like, we got to match it. So they kept giving him huge boosts. That's like, what, plus 9 zone? Up to an 88. <laughs> it's not even fair. Kenny Clark is a free agent, or will be. So we're going to have to re-sign him. So is Blake Martinez, Mike Daniels, Randall Cobb, Corey Lindsley, Brian Bulaga, Mason Crosby, Dean Lowry, Kyle Fackrell. We got a lot of guys, even Jason Spriggs. Don't know how we're going to re-sign some of these guys. We have a ton of money, but that's not the, que that's not the question, you know? I'm going to have to franchise tag Randall Cobb again. I don't know if it's, it works correctly in Madden like it does in real life, but the price should go up pretty exponentially. All right, re-sign pretty much everybody we need to do, except for Randall Cobb, because again, his age scares me. But I don't know. It's just I don't want to pay him 7 mil per year. It just seems pretty ridiculous. So we missed the playoffs again. Even though we went 10-6, and six, the Bears happened to tie instead of losing. So we didn't win the division. <laughs> this game, oh, it makes me so frustrated at times. Oh, we didn't even go 10-7. That was the Vikings. We went 8-7-1. I know it would have been ripped if I, I missaw the logo. Aaron Rodgers had an incredible season from a yards perspective. Aaron Jones was all right. Yards per carry is so low. And then Randall Cobb really making a great argument to stay on this team. Jerron Isaac had a great rookie year. Devontae Adams was insane. We need, we're need. we going to have a good offseason. This is a playoff team in year three, like 100%. So I'm not even worried about it. Blake Martinez, good year. Overall, Mike Daniels was pretty solid as well. Got to get more pressure on the quarterback. And then more interceptions probably wouldn't hurt either. Force fumbles, not a whole lot, but that's all right. Only one defensive touchdown. It was Josh Jackson. I mean, it's not like one is bad. So, Joey Moses, Patriots quarterback, I guess, wins MVP. What team am I even doing? What what video is this? Packers. All right. <laughs> no Packers. NFC Offensive Player of the Year is Alvin Kamara. Is it concerning that I forgot? And this, this happens, like, occasionally, too. It's, like, more often than not, almost. Uh, Aaron Rodgers, number seven for Offensive Player of the Year. Defensive Player of the Year, Khalil Mack again. Offensive Rookie of the Year is Leonard Price. Jerron Isaac just missed it. Defensive Rookie of the Year, Oscar Sharpton. No pack. Steelers beat the Saints 26-22 in the Super Bowl. Shane Ray's here, whatever. Randall Cobb. He's down to an 83, I'm telling you. Jerron Isaac has already passed him. Uh, I don't I don't want to sign him for that. It's way too much money for his ability. I would give him like like three three seven one even feels like too much, but he wants to play for a new team. The franchise tag would cost fourteen point two. I'm gonna do it. We have the money. It's not a it's not a question of the money. So positions we have to improve in the offseason. Right guard and left guard. Tight end. 
Wide receiver, probably. But wide receiver is kind of fine because we got Randall Cobb. Wide receiver is fine. Outside linebacker, or a any linebacker would fit. Because, I mean, we could change to a 4 3. Mike Daniels would move inside. And we would need we would need two defensive ends. That's actually going to work way better. We're going to move to a 4 3. I need Mike Daniels to go up. Give me an 86, at least, a defensive tackle. Because he's already down to an 83. And he goes up to an 80... 84. And the Kenny Clark is not going to be left end. He should be a defensive tackle. We just don't have anybody there. So it, it's hard to see what I need. I, I can't start him on Travis Adams. Cornerback group is good. Linebackers are good. Jake Ryan's going to play outside linebacker. We got a solid group. So Telvin Smith, Blake Martinez, Jake Ryan, linebacking core is set. Landon Collins, Kevin King, Jair Alexander, Josh Jackson, cornerbacks, and strong safety are set. We need a left end and a right end, a free safety, and then um, ideally two offensive guards and a tight end. That's kind of like a, a lot. That's a laundry list of things. Yannick Ngakwe is here. I know I signed him in the last one, but he sure makes a ton of sense. So I went after a lot of players. This will probably be my best free agent class ever if everybody signs. This was pretty incredible. So we got Marshall Yanda, Yannick Ngakwe, Eric Ebron, and Emmanuel Agba. We got everybody we went after, and now the team looks a lot different. Yanda, Ebron in. That's incredible. Defensively, we got a right end. We got a left end. Brought in a... Is that it? I mean, I say, is that it? But, that, I mean, that was an incredible class. Two defensive ends to start. Right guard and a tight end. Eric Ebron's been incredible this year. And we're good to go to the draft. We need to fill left guard and free safety. That's pretty much what I'm looking at in rounds one and two. Probably uh, in the opposite order. And we picked number one overall. The trade paid off. I forgot that I had first-round picks. We're actually golden. I'm actually going wide receiver. It's going to be Ross McKinney out of Stanford. Big six-foot-four target. Great vertical. Great broad jump. Pretty agile, too, for a big man. Great top three skills. Welcome to the team. 80 overall. Quick development. I'm fine with taking a receiver at number one overall for the first time since... Keyshawn Johnson, maybe? It, it was a while. I know Calvin Johnson out of Georgia Tech went number two to the Lions in 07. Was this some? It might be. The last time a receiver went number one overall was Keyshawn Johnson, 1996. Who was before him? Irving Fryer went number one overall to the Pats. That was 1984. He had a good, uh, good career, too. He really did. And then Lawrence Elkins... Went to the Oilers. I don't know who that is. That was 65. Dave Parks to the Niners, 64. I don't know who that is. There were two number ones in 64 and 63 and 62. Wait. Oh, the AFL. Oh, okay. I didn't I didn't think that would be uh, included here. I know there was the merger. But yeah, not a lot of receivers have gotten number one overall. Add Ross McKinney to the list. Isaac Fluker goes to the Chiefs out of Clemson. I guess a very, 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 very distant relative of DJ Fluker. I'm going to take a center here. I'm going to move him to guard. Trent Trusnick out of Notre Dame. Looks very, very good. 78 overall quick development. You play guard now, Trent Trusnick. A lot of guys are guard center hybrids coming into the NFL, so I think that one's fine. Don't usually go after aging players, but this one makes a lot of sense. A 1, a 2, and a 4 this year gets us Earl Thomas ET3 from... The Seattle Seahawks, who likely won't be there next year anyway. And um, he's going to be good. Plug and play. The worst he's going to get probably in this video will be an 86 overall, which is a fine starting free safety. So I'm good for that. Second rounder, we can pretty much go anywhere we want here. I'm thinking a backup middle linebacker or actually Henry Smith, backup halfback. Power back, good goal line guy out of Stanford. 79 overall, star development. I'll take it. Another pretty good draft class. New backup running back. I like that. And then, uh, I mean, Randall Cobb, there's no real reason to have him anymore now that we have McKinney. But he'll play anyway. It's just a good group of five. The defense is pretty sick. 
Adderall Thomas, the mix will be a 91 overall. That is pretty awesome. This team is ready, raring to go. We're going to be upgrading them, and I will see you guys at the midseason mark. If this team can't win, I don't think anything can. Let's go to the midseason mark. Show me 6-2. and two. Please. I think this team is worth it. It's worth that record. Worthy of 5-2. I'll take it. I didn't know when the bye week was, so that's fine. We got some upgrade points as well. McKinney's maybe playing a little bit. Let's actually get him some reps. Let's play him in the slot. Let's get him some slot targets, even though that's totally not his style. We'll put six foot four guys in the slot. Whatever. That's kind of what she said. Is it? Am I bringing that back? It's 2018, almost 2019. I gotta not do that. All right, playoff time. Show me, show me an 11 and five Green Bay Packers team. I will take 10 and six. We made the playoffs. The Bears went 11 and five. Not you, Bears. I hate, I hate them for some reason. I don't, I don't hate the Bears. I just, I don't care for them. I'm so lukewarm about them. I should have uh, done that a, a long time ago. Jeez, we would have been getting a lot more XP probably. I'm slacking. I also may not have had the points for it. Let's check out the stats and, of course, the subsequent awards as Aaron Rodgers had another Aaron Rodgers caliber season. Pretty good from him. Rushing Aaron Jones had a decent year, 1,100 yards, four per carry. You like to see that. Devontae Adams was golden. Aaron Rodgers spread the wealth as a lot of different guys had touchdowns uh, and multiple of that. Offensive line performed, you know, pretty well for Madden Sim. Tackles for loss, 15 for Emmanuel Agua. That's pretty incredible. Mike Daniels from the inside had 13 sacks, 11 for Yannick Ngakwe, 9.5 for Emmanuel Agba. Interceptions, 5 for Jir Alexander, who is playing off the charts amazingly. Force fumbles, not a whole lot. Defensive touchdowns, zero. And then when you go over to awards here, we have Phillip Rivers winning the MVP. Am I missing Aaron Rodgers here? No, at number eight. NFC Offensive Player of the Year, Ezekiel Elliott. No Aaron Rodgers. Defensive Player of the Year, Deion Jones. Telvin Smith at number seven. Offensive Rookie of the Year, Spencer Terry. Back-to-back -back pack, Ross McKinney. Henry Smith at four and five. And then Defensive Rookie of the Year. Do we even draft a defensive player? Mm, don't think so. All right, let's go ahead and simulate... Maybe we'll hop in here if we make it to the conference championship. Ooh, and we win. Advancing to play the 12 and 4 Los Angeles Rams in LA. And we are unsuccessful. We'll play the moments maybe in like the divisional conference championship next year. I'm pretty confident we're gonna make it. On to the offseason. Upcoming for season three. I gotta re-sign David Bakhtiari. The Ravens beat the Falcons. Battle of the Birds, 35-31 in the Super Bowl. Bakhtiari, King, Jones, Cobb's done. He's done in Green Bay. Bakhtiari, King, Jones, all back. I think I'm finding the rest. Mason Crosby, I mean, we'll re-sign him, I guess. One-year deal. Don't have a ton of money in free agency, but we don't really need a whole lot of money. The team is kind of set. It's just about development at this point. And, um, oh yeah, we need Marshall Yonda retired. What happened to the guard I drafted? Oh my god, I forgot to change him to guard. You clown, Bengal. Honestly, if you guys are from the Twitch scene on my channel, I stream a lot on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Bengal. Link in the description. Jadavion Clowny, the clown emoji in the chat. Or emote. What a wasted opportunity. There are no good guards available. Our best bet is Brian Winters. I'd rather just draft one. We pick at number 26 overall. We had a decent season. We just didn't make it as far into the playoffs as I would have liked. There's got to be a decent offensive guard available. Um, please? Oh, Jesus. What is It's the first round. Brian Roberson's going to be the pick. That annoys me, that name so much, because it's not like it's not Brian and it's not Robertson. <laughs> He's a 74 overall. It was... Uh, the guards have been so bad in the draft. 
Marquise Triplett. More receiver depth now that we don't have uh, Randall Cobb. Only a 74 overall. Looked better. Ooh, another receiver. Parker Nicholson, 75. Good value for the pick. We're going to simulate to the end. All right. The classic upgrade and sim. This is the season right here. This is the rebuild. This is the franchise. 99 defense. Only a 91 overall off. I say only. That's pretty good. But we're just so weak. And Brian Bulaga even is not that good. Might have to... Uh, might have to trade. Might have to trade for a, for an offensive line. Might have to trade. It's going to be straight up. Hole for Martin. Zach Martin, one of the best right guards in the league. And we're trading a great quarterback prospect that we just don't need. Because we have Aaron Rodgers. He is regressing a little bit. But, I mean, it's Aaron Rodgers. Let's, let's, let's get serious for a second here. Quarterback... Ooh, bring back the Sean Kaiser. That is extremely tempting. Let's do it. The Ravens drafted an 81 overall left tackle, Jay Allen, that doesn't start because they have Ronnie Stanley and then Orlando Brown Jr. at right tackle. So I was more than happy to trade my backup running back for him, Jason Allen. Not a rookie right now, but was a rookie last year. I don't know why they would have drafted a tackle. Because, oh, well, yeah, the draft logic is terrible in Madden 19. And the free agent logic and the trade logic, as you guys have seen in this video. But now the offensive line has improved. I am going to go out into free agency. We do need a backup running back. And I know that there is a good one. Deion Lewis is here. So is Gio Bernard. We're going to sign... Did I say Deion Lewis? I meant James White, dude. These... All these... These uh, New England running backs, they might as well be the same guy. They're all the exact same. Small, can catch, scat backs, uh, and James White is not going to start. Like, let's relax. But this is the team. Season number three. 99 offense to go along with 99 defense. The team is pretty unbelievable, but you better believe it. That was a corny line, my favorite. All right, midseason mark. Show me an undefeated team. Yo, we actually are undefeated. <laughs> okay. Per usual, they're always doubters. Always doubters. I feel like I'm giving some kind of rant right now. It's weird. Didn't force win, obviously. We've just happened to win out. And of course, force went home. Look at... No, it's bye week. We're 7-0. Pretty unbelievably. I'm not sure if I've gone undefeated in a rebuild this year. So, there's no time like the present. All right, playoff time. I don't want to jinx it, but you got to figure if you start out 7-0, there's no possible way you're going to miss the playoffs. Shout out to the Chiefs. I'm sure they've done something close. I think they start out 6-0 and miss the playoffs or got eliminated in the divisional or something fun. But we got the first round by. 12-4. Uh, no. What a, what a weird second half of the season. Aaron Rodgers... Had a pretty good year. Nothing spectacular by his standards, but pretty good. Running back duo was great. Receiving Devontae Adams killed it, although Ross McKinney really stole the show. Eight touchdowns. Um, I guess he didn't steal the show, but he was on par with the rest of the guys. Telvin Smith had a great year. Absolutely fantastic year. That's honestly Defensive Player of the Year caliber from him. Kenny Clark could, could be right in that conversation. He had an awesome year as well. Interceptions, Josh Jackson had five. Finally, He's breaking out. I love that. Not a whole ton of forced fumbles. At least one defensive touchdown. Jair Alexander. He is a good player. If you guys didn't know, Todd Gurley wins MVP. No Packers in here. Did I miss Aaron Rodgers? How is he not in here? NFC play Offense Player of the Year. Toad Gourley. No Packers. Defense Player of the Year. It is Telvin Smith. What a call. Josh Jackson, number six. Blake Martinez at number nine. Offensive rookie of the year, Antoine Montgomery. No Packers. Defensive rookie of the year, Curtis Smith. Sherman Gilbert at number seven. What a nerdy name. Would love for a Sherman Gilbert to be watching this video and just go, just like sigh and allow it. Uh, he's right. All right, divisional at Lambeau. No way the Saints can beat us. You'd put a real damper on, on the video. Oh, my God. One more season. I'm going to skip the offseason. 
Well, I'm gonna resign players. Simulate directly there. Um, I'll resign. We don't really need to resign that much. Do I have the money for it? Yeah, I'll make it work. Devontae Adams doesn't want to sign. Well, you're, you gotta get tagged. I don't know that I can afford that. Okay. Yeah, with the franchise tag, I don't have the money to re-sign Josh Jackson. Or Telvin Smith. I don't think. Yeah, or J.K. Scott. The franchise tag really hurt a lot, actually. What are our backup options? We're going to need to replace Telvin Smith. Gee, I don't have any money. Okay. We're going to need to capitalize on the draft pick. I can't skip the offseason now. I need to draft a starter. Okay, um... How do we how do we manage this? There's so many quarterbacks here. This guy's an absolute sicko. I think we gotta go Francis Bieria here. We're gonna need him to start. All right, Francis Bieria looks pretty good actually. 77 overall, quick development. Welcome to the Green Bay Packers. You start now. You are Telvin Smith. It's actually funny because he is pretty comparable to Telvin Smith. Good cover guy with decent speed coming out. Obviously, well, I guess not obviously, but Telvin Smith went to Florida State. He went to Pitt. That's not exactly the same place, but it's the same conference in the ACC, if that makes you feel any better. Round two. I'm taking a QB here, I think, and I want to trade him. Mitchell Rich out of Texas. Hook him horns. I'm going to trade you for a slot corner. Decent pick. Yeah, no one's good here. It's time to go to the end of the draft. Uh... I, I you obviously I use my funds very liberally in this rebuild, which is more so than I ever have, to my knowledge. I, I've never had this situation in Madden 19, but it is what it is. We're dealing with it, and the team is still really good. Just we've lost some impact playmakers, and we don't have a kicker or punter. That is actually a pretty big problem. We need those. Well, actually, if we never uh, if we never fail on third down, we don't even need to punt if we just keep scoring. Antonio Brown is a free agent? Are you kidding me? I don't exactly have the money for him. Carlton Davis is a free agent? I can afford that. Oh, I can't. Barely. I barely can't. That actually is fine. Okay, um, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna free up some cap space somehow. All right, we're moving our backup quarterback, Rich Brian Bulaga and Corey Lindsley for Heitman. He is a right guard who will be playing right tackle because he's versatile, and uh, we need a right tackle. Actually, do we? No, I signed one. We're fine. That was just clearing. That was just clearing cap space, and then he can play center. Ooh, what a, what a great trade. All right, so Carlton Davis is getting signed. This is a no-brainer for me, now that we have the money. Fantastic nickel cornerback. And, ooh, DJ Chark. I don't need that. But I, I kind of want it. There's so many cornerbacks here and wide receivers in free agency. I don't know why they're not getting any love. Duke Johnson's also available. I'm going to sign Duke Johnson. Oh, we, we can't afford it by $10,000. Can we get, like, fan donations? The Green Bay Packers are all... Like, technically, fan-owned. They're a publicly-owned franchise. I believe the only one. Can't we just get donations to afford that? No, baby. That's not how salary cap works. Yeah, no kidding. All right, so I'm going to cut Moses Finney here. There's no real reason to have him. There's almost no penalty. And we just clear the cap pretty easily. Xavius Kinchin can also get cut. We don't really need you. All right, Duke Johnson. I know running back, it's not the most important of needs for us right now, but I think based on the way that Madden Sim works, it's better to have two running backs than one who are who are real good. So that's a really good combo. It really is. And then, of course, I said Heitman's going to play center. He's versatile, I guess. He doesn't need to. We could move the center back to center. But uh, no, Norman Heitman, I've decided. He plays center now. And I almost wish that, like, Madden assess more of a penalty not necessarily from guard to center or center to guard because that's a transition that happens a lot But you shouldn't be able to move a center To tackle and have them play the same because that's completely unrealistic, but 
Aaron Rodgers down to a 90. You're killing me, Aaron. All right, this is the squadron. It's actually still pretty good. We're not in a bad spot. Time to upgrade. Time to simulate. Time to make the playoffs. Time to do a lot. Time to talk it is over. I think this is not going to be an undefeated season at this point. I could be mistaken. We're 5-2. and two, uh, Tied for the lead in the NFC North. I guess technically, I don't know who owns the tiebreaker. The Vikings are right behind at 5-3. and three. Lions are not doing so hot. And now is the time where I go into spend coach XP and I buy the quarterback package and I try to salvage what I can of Aaron Rodgers before he gets, you know, he turns to dust because he's getting to that age. He is 38 in this franchise. This is probably our last hurrah with Aaron Rodgers. So we got to make it count. This is Super Bowl or bust this year. It really is. Playoff time. See you there. 10 and 6, we made the playoffs. We lost to the Cowboys in week 17. Three teams from the NFC North made the playoffs. Wow. This is going to be a dicey game against the Dallas Cowboys. Dicey, dicey game in Dallas, or Arlington, technically. Deshaun Watson, MVP. I don't think I've ever looked at it this way. Lyndon Welch is a new Saints guy. NFC Offensive Player of the Year, Todd Gurley. Defensive Player of the Year, Roquan Smith. Offensive Rookie of the Year, Roman Ellerby. Defensive Rookie of the Year, Kirby Pape. Oh, any Packers? Francis Bieria, Offensive Rookie of the Year. I saw a Packer. Zach Godfrey, no idea who you are. Stats, Aaron Rodgers. Uh, still a pretty good year, man. He's consistent as can be. Aaron Jones had a better season than Duke Johnson on significantly fewer attempts. Receiving. Great work from the receiving core. Ross McKinney had a really good season as well. Blocking, it's so inconsistent, but pretty good from the guys. No 100 uh, tackle guy, but tackles for loss, we have a ton. We weren't allowing anything. Sacks, defensive line was great as well. Two double-digit guys, Emmanuel Agba and Yannick Ngakwe. Interceptions, not a whole lot. I guess I, the defense played all right. No, f oh, Only a few forced fumbles. Any defensive touchdowns? No. All right, this is the final season, guys. This is this is make or break right now. The team's really good. 99 offense, 99 defense. Jair Alexander, you can't upgrade him any further, which is funny. I could switch him to safety. I know that I could or a linebacker and use those points and get him better, but I don't I don't really care. We're gonna do play the moments and jump in if we have to. I like to build these teams and let the teams play. We're 96 overall. Cowboys are 95. They are no slouch. We're down 28 to 3. Time to uh, New England Patriots it. Shout out to the Falcons. Oh, there we go, Aaron Jones. Let's just duck out of bounds. Pretty good burst. Rodgers going deep for Isaac. Jerron Isaac, touchdown. 28 to 10 it's going to be. That's 43 yards to the house. And we're still in this one. Oh my goodness, we got the ball back. We got a takeaway? Oh, the dream is alive. Dallas turned over the football. Shout out to Dak. Love him. We have one timeout, 14 seconds. We're going to have to go over the middle. Eric Ebron down to the four. It's obviously a timeout situation. Field goal really doesn't help us that much. I'm going for a touchdown here. Can't take a sack. We're going to have to throw the ball quickly. That's why slants are going to be our best friend here. I'm going to keep Aaron Jones in the block just to avoid that sack, potentially, and throw it up to Eric Ebron. He drops the football. Oh, wow. Would it be insane to try to run the football here? I really think it would be. We need points. I, I'm going to try for the touchdown. It's got to be Ebron. He didn't drag the toes. Oh, my goodness. A field goal makes it 28-13. Oh, I gotta go for I'm gonna go for it. It's gonna be slants again. Clearly the high point to Ebron is not working. I'm gonna hand the ball off to Aaron Jones. We have a good offensive line. They just gotta block. Oh! And we return to. How did I not score? The run was a stupid decision. We scored a touchdown and we got the football back again. This time we have to capitalize. I, don't, I didn't want to run the ball because I, I don't trust uh, 
our offensive line after what happened. Now Aaron Jones has a large crease. Now he does. Eight rushes, 81 yards, and a touchdown. We needed the touchdown so badly. Or at least a field goal. I wish I would have settled for the field goal at this point. Because right now it would be 28-20. And we can go for two after we score a touchdown here. Which would have been huge. I don't know who Godfrey is, but he's getting the football. Ah. Eric Ebron's got to win on the slant here. Double A gap. Aaron Rodgers. Show him the belt. The signature celebration as the comeback continues. So we didn't get the two-point conversion, I guess. Third down. Make a stop. I'm jumping in. Third and six from 32. Field goal makes it 23-31. Still a one-score game at this point. I'd love a takeaway here. Really would. Need a user pick with Jake Ryan. Throw it at me, Dak. Dak's trying to scramble. He takes a sack out of field goal range, maybe. Emmanuel Ogba gets to him. They kick the field goal. All right. Time to uh, score a touchdown and go for two. I almost want to score really, really quickly because we do have three timeouts left. And if we don't get the two-point conversion, the game isn't over. We're not banking everything on that. We're taking a deep shot. Devontae Adams has him burned, and he dropped the football. What a fantastic play. Oh, that was Byron Jones, I believe. I like how they don't let me snap the ball until the defense gets set. That's just so ridiculous. Aaron Rodgers taking off, though. Why are you so slow? He slowed up when he got out of the pocket. That's open. Aaron Rodgers delivers it. It's a strike. And the clock is still ticking. We got to hurry up here. We, it's already, we didn't score fast enough, but watch. I can't snap the ball. We're not even set right now. I'm trying to score really quickly. I want to throw it to X. On the run, Rodgers to Isaac. Jerron Isaac calls it in. Inbounds. Is the blocking going to be good here? Pitch to Duke Johnson on second and six. Snap the ball. That's a good block. Duke Johnson, fast. Spin back, touchdown. All right, all we need here is a two-point conversion to tie. Big onside kick. They didn't give me a two-point conversion as a moment. Are you kidding me? I hate you, Madden. All right, well, this is why we tried to score quickly. Field goal doesn't hurt us that much. We just need to stop him. I'm going to back out to make sure they let me actually play. This game, dude. I guess poor assumption to assume that the CPU would consider a key moment to be the biggest play of the entire game. Great shed. Great shed. Bring them down, please. They're out of field goal range. The only problem is we're going to have no timeouts and have to go to the length of the field if we even do manage to stop them. We're going to use her with Earl Thomas here, pretty much in the box. Try to just shoot the gap here. And shut it down. Great tackle by Emmanuel Agba in space. That was a game saver. Not basically an I-4 in package. It's a handoff to Elliott. He is wrapped up. Out of field goal range. They're going to punt. I would. I hope they attempt a field goal. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Touchback. 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 Touchback on the 12. Almost the same. It's 8 yards. A minute and 2 seconds to tie. All right, we got, a, we got a good spot here. That's the ball game. Backed up. I blocked the running back, by the way. I blocked Duke Johnson. Look at this blocking he does here. Great work. All right, that is the ball game. I know I get it. I suck because I couldn't complete a... 28 point comeback or well it wasn't 28 it was 25 points it was 28 to 3 uh so i do suck I, again can't deliver a super bowl what's new thank you so much for watching the video hope you enjoyed the process uh and i will see you guys in the next one take it easy